Hi, dear Rico. It's my turn to read you a story now, and I'm going to read one of my favourite stories that I love to read with my children, Molly and Jack. And this is The Troll by Julia Donaldson and David Roberts. See if it reminds you of another story that you've read. There was once a troll who lived under a bridge. That's where trolls are supposed to live. Meanwhile, far out at sea, there were some pirates who lived in a ship. That's where pirates are supposed to live. Trolls are supposed to eat goats, but no goats ever came trip-trapping over this troll's little bridge. So he ate fish instead. But one morning, he heard a faint noise on his bridge. Up he popped and he said what trolls are supposed to say, which is, Who's that trip-trapping over my bridge? I'm not trip-trapping. I'm scuttling, said a tiny black creature. And I'm a spider. Oh, bother. Thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have fur, said the spider. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. You'll make a nice change from fish. Oh, oh, please don't eat me, said the spider. Why don't you go further down the river to the next bridge? It's a much better bridge for goats. <sighs> All right then, said the troll. So he packed up his frying pan and his cookery book and off he strode. Pirates are supposed to dig for treasure and these pirates had a treasure map with a rhyme on it. Between the palm tree and the rocks, six foot deep lies a rep treasure box. They sailed and they sailed until they reached an island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. Start digging. The pirates dug and they dug. But all they found was a grumpy mole. Must be the wrong island, they said. All that digging had made them hungry. It was Ben Buckle's turn to do the cooking. He cooked fish pie. It's soggy, said Percy Patch. It's slimy, said Peg Polkadot. When we find the gold, we can buy a decent cookery book, said Hank Chief. And they set sail again. The troll was sitting under his new middling sized bridge, reading his cookery book. Suddenly he heard a sound above his head. Up he popped. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? he roared. I'm not trip trapping. I'm pattering, said a furry creature, and I'm a mouse. Oh bother, thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have longer ears, said the mouse. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. I'm getting sick of fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the mouse. Why don't you go down to the next bridge? There are goats trip-trapping over all that one all the time. <sighs> Very well, said the troll. And he packed up his things again and off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates had discovered another island. They dug and they dug, but all they found was a rusty old bucket with a crab in it. <sighs> the wrong island again, they said. That night, Percy Patch did the cooking. He cooked fish soup. It's bony, said Ben Buckle. It's briny, said Peg Polkadot. <sighs> if only we could find the gold, we could pay for a proper cook, said Hank Chief. The troll was frying fish under his new big bridge when he heard a sound above his head. Up he popped. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He bellowed. I'm not trip trapping, I'm lolloping, said a creature with long ears. And I'm a rabbit. Oh, bother, thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have hooves, said the rabbit. 
Never mind. I'll eat you anyway, so the troll. Anything's better than fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the rabbit. Why don't you walk down to the next bridge? There are herds of goats trip-trapping over that one. Are you sure? asked the troll. Once again, he packed up and off he strolled. Meanwhile, the pirates were digging on a new island. They dug and they dug, but all they found was an old Wellington boot with a nest of centipedes in it. We'll never find the right island, they said. That night, it was Peg Polkdot's turn to do the cooking. She cooked fish cakes. They're sticky, said Ben Buckle. They're sandy, said Percy Patch. Hank Chief said nothing. He was too busy being sick over the side of the ship. The Trolls River grew wider and wider. Then it stopped being a river and flowed into the sea. The troll found himself on a sandy beach. There isn't another bridge, he said. That rabbit was tricking me. But then he spotted some hoof prints in the sand. A goat, at last, he cried. He looked around, but he couldn't see any goats. Never mind, he'll probably come back tomorrow, he said. The troll followed the hoof prints. They led him to a spot between a palm tree and two big rocks. I know, he thought, I'll dig a pit. Then tomorrow the goat will fall into it and I can eat it. The troll dug and dug with his frying pan. Just when he thought the hole was deep enough, the pan hit something hard. It was a great big chest. Perfect, said the troll. I can hide in here and keep warm. Then when the goat falls into the hole, I'll open the lid and pop up. He lifted the lid. The chest was full of round gold things. These are no use to me, he said, and he threw them all into the sea. Then he climbed into the chest and lay down. Tomorrow I can have goat for breakfast instead of fish, he thought as he drifted off to sleep. It was dark when the pirates arrived at the next island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. But someone's been digging here already, said Ben, ben Buckle. Don't say they found the treasure before us, said Percy Patch. No, look, here it is, cried Peg Polka Dot. The chest was heavy. It must be full of gold, said Hank Chief. Quick, back to the ship before anyone stops us. The troll was woken by a loud bang. That's my breakfast falling into the hole, he thought. But why was the chest heaving and swaying? And why was the lid opening? Surely goats couldn't open lids. The lid opened wide. Staring down at the troll were four angry pirates. Where's the gold? shouted Hank Chief. I, I threw it into the sea, said the troll. The plank, the plank, yelled Ben Buckle and Percy Patch. Make him walk the plank. The next second, the pirates were pushing him onto it. Who's that trip trapping over my plank? jeered Hank Chief. I'm not trip trapping, I'm shuffling, said the troll in a very small voice. And I'm a troll. He reached the end of the plank. His knees were knocking. Jump! yelled the pirates. But just then, Peg Polka Dot came running up. Wait, she cried. I found something else inside the chest. In one hand, she held the troll's frying pan. In the other hand, she held his cookery book. Stop, called Hank Chief. He looked at the troll in a new way. Can you cook, he asked. Yes, said the troll. 
And yes, shouted the pirates. Then you can stay, said Hank Chief. Thank you, said the troll, and he shuffled back along the plank. When shall I start? Now, said Hank. The pirate showed the troll the ship's kitchen. The troll grinned. He turned to his favourite page in his cookery book. Shall I make us a nice goat stew, he asked. Goat? Goat? Pirates don't eat goat, said Hank Chief. We want what pirates are supposed to eat. And what's that? asked the troll. Fish, said the pirate chief. Poor troll, back to eating fish again. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Did you realise it sounded a little bit like another story you might have heard as well? Can you guess what it is? Yes, three billy goats gruff. See you soon, Jericho. Missing you lots. Bye bye.